So since we last left off, we mashed in. We would have gotten that on camera, except that with just the two of us, we don't have a third person for our camera hand. So uh, what we did was a simple infusion mash, meaning that we mixed all of our grain into our hot water and it sat at one temperature for an hour. Um, we'll go over different types of mashing schedules later on in the class, but that's what you need to know for now. That's what we're doing here at HBC. Um, so like I said, that mash sits for about an hour. The enzymatic activity is occurring uh, in all of our starch conversion. We tested for that. Joey will go over that in his FRM 100 or 110 class. So once starch conversion was complete, we more loft, meaning that we took the first runnings off the bottom of the mash tun uh, from underneath the false bottom. We ran it through our pump and back up over the top of our grain bed. What that did was take that nice clean wort, put it over top of the grain bed, and it starts filtering out all of the husks and any particulates that might be in the wort um, that you don't want going into the boil kettle because those will, will cause off flavors and residual bitterness. We don't want that. We want a nice clean wort as we're coming off our mash tun. So uh, once our grain bed was set, we are now prepared for transfer and sparging. So I've set up the pump over here. We're coming off the hot liquor tank. The water in the hot liquor tank is about 170 degrees right now. That temperature is very important because that will stop all enzymatic activity occurring in the mash, meaning that there will be no more starch conversion. It's done. So uh, in addition to stopping that enzymatic activity, that hot water will also rinse the grains as we transfer. So any sugars lingering on the grains will be rinsed out and that will also go, go into our work on the way to our boil kettle. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this valve on the bottom of the uh, bash tun so we can start transferring. Those are our first runnings. And then I will start the pump and you'll be able to see sparge in action. So let's do this. So you want to transfer slowly so that you don't suck the grain bed down on top of that false bottom. And you can see here in the side glass our nice clean wort. And I will get our sparge started. So here, you can see by the bubbles moving that the wort is moving into the boil kettle. Generally speaking, you want to be drawing off the mash tun at about the same rate as your sparge. 